Thank you very much, uh, uh, TCJ. Uh, judge, the, the stopping and going, and the DCJ saying to you, I hear for you the whole day, and you accepting that, does it not, is that not a sign of an unprepared candidate? No, I don't think it's a question of an unprepared candidate, uh, Commissioner Malema. I think, for starters, after waiting for such a long time, you must understand that uh, that can affect the performance of a candidate. It's not that I, was un I am unprepared, because as you can see, I brought work with me, I have prepared, I have read the prescripts and the legislation, and I've read the judgments, some of the judgments that are relevant. It's just that probably because it's nerve-wracking after the long wait, and I don't want that to be taken as an excuse because it is, it's not supposed to be used as an excuse. No, but you are asked a simple question. In a situation where a court finds that there is serious irregularities, what will the court do? You go and open a book. That is something that you should have prepared if you want to come to this court. You should know that what do you basically deal with is serious irregularities. What do you do in that case? You ask for the indulgence of the chairperson to open the act. Is that everybody here? There, there are judges that are going to come here. Uh, some come, uh, they are very fortunate. There is a new arrangement of new leadership. In the past, people used to wait here until 11 in the evening, and they've never given an excuse that they waited for too long, and therefore we must accept that uh, as a commission that to, to indicate that they were prepared and that the long waiting took away their, their preparedness. What happens when a court finds that there were serious irregularities in this election? That's a question we're asking. You see, I'll, ask, I'll answer that question not based on, 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 on here, Commissioner Malema. I say, generally, when there's an irregularity, the court can make a decision to... The court can make a decision to overrule that and correct what has happened and give an order that will be just and equitable under the circumstances. Like which order? You see, and here, for voting purposes, if the irregularity emanates from the irregular counting, the court can order that they must do a recount or there must be by-elections if it is a municipal election. If it is national elections, you can't have by-elections, then those will be excluded. They will be rejected. So let's take the local elections. What is the difference between a rerun and a by-election? Well, a rerun is when you do it again, but uh, the by-elections is when those have gone by and you go back again. I'll, I'll give an example with a uh, I think the matter of Mshope, where there were issues raised in the Mshope judgment about uh, people having voted in wrong regions and other people having not, the commission not having updated the, the voters' role. I think under those circumstances, the, the court had ordered that there should be by-elections held because it was wrong for the commission in the first place to have proceeded to that extent without having made available the voters' role to the different parties and to the independents and to having allowed them time to campaign, to, to recruit, to do whatever needed to be done and to ensure that, to confirm that those people appearing in the voters' role are indeed as, 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 as indicated that they belong or they are ordinarily resident in the regions wherein they said they belong. I still don't know what is the answer. Let me ask it differently. Bar elections takes place under what circumstances and rerun takes place under which circumstances? 
rerun like the term suggests they will redo everything from the beginning that's my prima facie view uh, by election is when for example the elections were held and something happens and then there's a by election that is conducted outside the period where the elections were conducted it will happen at a later stage i'm going to argue that you came here unprepared mm -hmm. and without knowing basic concepts that deal with daily elections and i thought i must put it to you so that when i raise it in the deliberations commissioners don't say i didn't put that to you what will be your comment well, uh, Commissioner Malema, I can't argue with that. What I know is I had prepared, but probably when I came here, it, it happened the other way. I had prepared. Thank you, DCJ. Seconded to that court. Just a judges from my court DCJ. will be seconded to act as acting judges in that court. Sorry, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Quick follow-up on the same yes. subject here. Thank you, uh, Judge, <clears throat> yes. I hear this thing of independent candidates. Apart from the court ruling of those independent candidates, mm -hmm. is there any legislation that says there's going to be independent candidates in 2024? I don't know, because there, there is no legislation at this stage. Um, and um, I don't know how far, well, I don't know what's, what's going to happen, because now, According to the High Court in this uh, um, new nation matter, there must be legislation uh, because, I mean, the Electoral uh, Act as it stands is unconstitutional, so it doesn't create a space for independent uh, candidates. So even if you go ahead in 2024 and hold election, those, those independent candidates will, like, in an proper case, they will be able to challenge the result of their hang on. Hang on. It, in terms of uh, the High Court, uh, the Concord judgment, you are supposed to have amended the legislation so as to include us. We are not included, so we are still being uh, marginalized. So whatever we'll be doing in 24 without getting a legislation in place will be an exercise in futility because they can go back to the Concord and say the Parliament hasn't done what you ask it to do in 20, 2020, 2021. So that's, that's a problem that we'll be facing. Okay, I'll wait for my turn. No, uh, 